Hi, Capricorn. All right. Um, I'm saying hi, Capricorn, um, but it's very unlikely um, that there are any actual Capricorns watching this. Um, we're hoping to get a read for the male Capricorn tonight. Um, it depends on what comes out in the cards. Um, and the reason why is um, a lot of the uh, subscribers on my channel um, are having um, uh, some major um, relationships uh, with Capricorns, and um, they seem, it seems to me like these are soul, soulmates, soul bond type things. So um, this uh, is for, hopefully for my subscribers, and hopefully what will come out is the male Capricorn or, or whomever is identifying with that energy. Um, if we don't get it, we don't get it. We'll just read for female Capricorn. Um, but what we're trying to do is a little bit of cross-watching. <laughs> so if you are a male Capricorn, we're, we're cross-watching you, okay? Um, all right. So um, Capricorn is cardinal earth, which is very, very interesting. Um, you know, earth is very grounded, all right? Um, and when you get it, the cardinal nature of anything is sort of the catalytic nature of it. The, uh, it's so, so, um, the cardinal signs of every suit are the movers and shakers. So it's interesting, uh, to have a mixture of cardinal, to have the cardinal side of earth because earth is inherently stable. Um, and, and cardinal means, um, the spark, okay, that gets things going. Um, it's sort of a dichotomy, but it, but it works in a beautiful way for Capricorn. So we're going to find out in a minute now. Um, I'm just, sorry, I got to turn the lighting up. We're going to find out if we have our male Capricorn, uh, in about two seconds. <laughs> what is that issue for Capricorn, please? What is that issue, please, for Capricorn? Okay, it's not there. <laughs> okay, we're looking for a reading on the male Capricorn, please. Okay, one second. I gotta figure out what that is. That's really important, whatever it is. Oh, good grief. Capricorn! Only you would do this. All right, guys, I'm going to have to pause the tape. I'll figure out what fell in a minute. Okay, this is interesting. Um, Cross-watchers. So my cross-watchers are mostly uh, female fire signs. I do believe we are now looking at the male Capricorn. Because, um, so here he is. <laughs> sorry, if, if you are a male Capricorn and, and I'm talking about you in the third person, sorry about that. And Sag, look... <laughs> Here you are, okay? Um, I think Sag, by the way, Capricorn, we're, we're spying on you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I think uh, Sagittarius that it is very auspicious that we ended up with these two cards, not just at the center of Capricorn's reading, but flying off the table. Um, so, Neither of you are looking at each other. Um, Capricorn is sitting there. Now, this is a card of Pisces, but I see this as being uh, the male Capricorn because this is exactly how the man in the Four Pentacles sits on his, um, you know, in front of his city that he built um, alone. It doesn't want anyone around. <laughs> Even though he knows his Ten of Cups is under the table there, he's not going to look for her. But Sag, you're looking the other way. All right? You're also looking up at some other opportunity. I want to show you how these two cards are coming out. Um, okay, so you guys both probably have something on your agenda. Okay, you're both probably busy, all right? Capricorn is always busy, but Sag is always passionately busy about something. And you're, you are, whatever it is that you're involved with right now, Sag, you're, you're um, very engrossed in it, okay? Which is great, all right? Now, okay, continuing to spy on the male Capricorn. What is crowning uh, male Capricorn's... Oh, I forgot to ask what's, cro what's in his way. <laughs> you know, I forgot that because rarely there's anything in their way. 
What is crossing the male Capricorn? What is a challenge for them? Or what is crossing them right now? Okay, so I feel like two of these things are... Something is burdening them, so there's a decision. Okay, here we go, Sag. I feel like this is about you. <clears throat> I'll tell you why. We've got Saturn and Sagittarius as to what's... Um, something that is burdening them and uh, burdening them and I believe that it's a decision that they're making about you the reason why is <clears throat> this person um, I know this is um, this is just a minute now this is Mars in Aries okay but I believe this is him this is a wealthy investor okay breaking the tape okay sorry about that Satch I mean Capricorn. Well, actually, Sag, because Sag is cross-watching this. Um, so I feel like... Oh, no. Sorry, I got it. He is making a decision. I believe that it is about you because it's, a, it's all about wands, okay? And you are wands. But the weight is what is burdening you, okay? I mean, I don't mean the physical weight. I mean the, the temporal weight, the, the time that it's taking. I'm just going to clarify. Why is Capricorn taking so much time to make this decision about Sag? Why is Capricorn... Why is this decision-making burdening Capricorn? Because of the weight. And one more thing. Um, because you, he's making you wait, Kathy. Hang on. And you feel like you screwed things up. You didn't, okay? Look at you. You're like, oh, shit. <laughs> Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to. Sorry. Yeah, and you're losing a bit of sleep over it, okay? You do. This is all in your head. I hope, anyway, we're going to find out. We're going to find out as we're cross-watching. Um, all right. Let's look and see what's in Capricorn's... Uh, what are the subconscious influences? I bet you something's going to come up that has to do with logic, business. Um, <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Who knows? All right, so we're trying to find out what is subconsciously impacting Capricorn here. All right, so because um, as you all know, sometimes if we're allowing our subconscious um um, what's in the subconscious to run the show and it's not and what's in our subconscious we're not aware of and it's not healthy um, You know it can get us into trouble. I think that's happened to me before I think you know I think that happens all the time, but all right I gotta shut up before I ask this question again. What is affecting the situation? Uh, on a subconscious level from Capricorn's perspective, please the male Capricorn How is his subconscious mind? impacting on Saji's situation with him. It's right there, whatever that is. Okay, I'm happy to tell you um, this is someone who's made a decision. Look, he went from the two of wands. He moved up from the two to the three. Remember, twos are where things don't, that things are really just not material yet. You're thinking about it. Three is where they start to materialize. Interesting because Capricorn doesn't like being in the, in the immaterial state. They like material things. He's made a decision about you, Sag. In addition, I think he's made a, a decision about you. And you're, this is Sun in Aries where, um, so the um, second deacon of Aries. Now, I know, you're, I know you're not Aries. I know you're a fire sign. This, this reading could also be for an Aries, all right? Um... But at the center of the reading, like the, the significators were, the Sag was right there, the page, page of wands. Um, I feel like uh, what you don't know is that he's made a decision, okay? Um, but, but what I think he's waiting on is communication from you, because I'm looking at the blue part of his sleeve there, okay? Um, why does he need this communication? Okay, because there's something he doesn't know. Um, so this card comes up, the high priestess comes up, um, when we're looking at information that people do not have, he is, he is not going to make a move because Saggy, I feel like you might have, um, uh, shut him down a bit. Yeah. 
I think that is eminently clear right now, to, and it should have been clear to me before. And that's why you felt burdened. And there was a lot of waiting going on. Sad, I'm not telling you to pick up the phone and call Capricorn, but I'm telling you that the only thing that's holding him back um, is that he hasn't heard from you and he has no idea. He's missing this information. And look at the, I was just reading today about the blue um, colors in uh, uh, in the high priestess's um, uh, robes and look at what he's waiting for. And his blue sleeve represents information that he wants, that he needs incoming that he does not have. She has it, but this is someone... This is information that he doesn't have. Interesting. Okay. So, he's not going to make a move until he knows how. There's something, this information he may feel that he needs about you, Sag. Um, okay, what's happened in the recent past to bring us here? What's happened in the recent... Okay. All right, I see now the problem, okay? I see the problem, Cappy. I mean, Saggy. All right. Okay, I think that Capricorn screwed up um, by putting you in a third-party situation in the past, all right? I do believe that's over now. Um, I do believe that um, Capricorn regrets it, all right? Spill the three cups. I believe everything, he's willing to have everything out in the open. Hang on, we're going to run out of time. Um, but here's the problem. The impact of what he did... Um, put you in a state, literally, of, um, it's called Moon and Sagittarius, okay? It made you very guarded, and he, I think that this Capricorn played some head games with you. Um, this bandage, sorry about the lighting, guys. The bandage on the, um, head there is, that is not a physical wound. That's something that, um, this person, uh, that's something you haven't healed from yet. Um... It's, you learned, so you, you, you definitely ended it. Um, I see judgment in you being single and very capable of standing on your own. Um, Capricorn felt guilty. He may have tried to come in proper in the past one more time. Um, acting like everything was out in the open, but the thing is, um, I don't believe that it was, okay? Um... Now, who is in the Four of Swords here? Yeah, I, th I think I believe that was him planning using stealth. Um, oh no, this is communication that you cut off. Yep, yep, you cut off communication. I can see why. Okay, I can understand. All right, let's see what what Capricorn is going to do, Sag, in the very near future. All right, so I'm going to assume that you've cut off communication. Or simply that, you know, something like this has happened in the past. You don't have to be completely not in communication for this reading to apply, but it looks like um, right now we're, we're in Four of Swords mode, okay? Somebody is uh, meditating on this, trying to get... Yeah, I believe that's him. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so Sag, if it makes you feel any better... I do believe that Capricorn is losing sleep um, because he realizes that he was giving to the wrong person. Okay, I think he's losing some sleep over it. Okay, um, let me just find out if that's him losing sleep or is it you? Um, so we've got Mars and Gemini here. Who is in? Who's doing the Mars and Gemini, please? Who is this person in, in the Nine of Swords? Yeah, it's him. It's the person who was engaging in this. Uh, I just had to... to uh, uh, yes. Look, the spy energy coming off this reading. Okay, Saj, so I think what you don't know is that he's keeping a close eye on you, all right? I mean, he really is. 
I think I do believe that you're not in communication because he's not sleeping and and he's not stalking, but he may be keeping an eye on you somehow. Um, he's got sharp words for you. Why? Sag didn't do anything wrong. Jeez, Louise. Okay. Let's find out what Capric what tools Capricorn is going to use in relation to Sag. Tools will Capricorn use. <laughs> this is so Capricorn, not not disclosing. Okay, hang on. I get it. I'll get I'll get there. Tools will Capricorn use in relation to this situation. Wait, this is that. Okay, what is that? Wow. Okay, emotional intellect. Uh, I feel like they're gonna try to outsmart you. Watch out, because uh, Capricorn is uh, has a lot of stealth. Um, there, or there, maybe this Capricorn has actually softened up a bit, because what's coming out is the Strength card, the card of Leo, which is um, someone who uses, um, you know, who is kind, cordial, and loving. They don't fight fire with fire. That's not really how Capricorn normally behaves. Um, uh, can we clarify this tool, please? What are we to expect here? What I'm getting is they may act like honey around you. Uh, they may, sh they may, um, just look how the lion is cuddling up to you. <laughs> Pretending that he doesn't have big teeth and big paws. <laughs> I don't know. What tools? Oh, dear. All right. All right. All right. Uh, look, I hate to say this. I'm seeing a possible continuation of a third-party situation. Guarding a secret, because that's Sun and Capricorn. Betrayal. Something about a soulmate. Sun and Scorpio. Um, oh, no, 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 no. They're going to use this to get you back into. Yeah, okay, so just look. I mean, people use different tools. Um, I think uh, <laughs> this series of cards here worries me, okay, because I'm seeing... Um, two cards of major betrayal i'm seeing the um i'm seeing sun and gemini and the three of swords and i'm seeing capricorn um keeping his heart guarded his money safe and his secret safe um and what but what you're gonna see the only side that you're gonna see is this is the line going hmm, right um so just uh, just be wary and he is going to, um, um, I, uh, I don't know what's going on here. With Six of Cups, perhaps he does feel like you're his soulmate. He might say, um, yeah, oh, no, I'll tell you what's going on here. I think you guys are really attracted to each other. Okay, yeah. Okay, so there's two cards of, two very, very phallic cards there. But look, also, um... So we might say, um, look, this is looking very good, Sag. Um, I mean, I'm seeing, I, I, so, sometimes I see you as the emperor. I'm seeing him as the emperor here. He may suggest um, that you guys have a brand new start. Okay, two aces is always a brand new start. Um, and perhaps you're going to travel somewhere together. Not sure. Let's just keep motoring on through and let this come out. What are the outside influences um, for Capricorn? Yeah. Okay. Um, there's a lot. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Sag, here you are. Okay. Um, now, I am reading for a female Sag right now. 
what this card is screaming out to me is the physical um, connection between you and this Capricorn, okay? It's huge. All right? Um, so his tool may be the physical connection that you guys have. Yeah. Yep. 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 I think so. So let's, you know. All right. Let's just keep going. Okay. Um, now, now this is important because what we're going to ask next, not what your hopes and fears are, or what are his hopes and fears. All right. Um, this is exactly what you need to know what he's up to. All right. So we are asking in relation to the situation between Saj and Cap, knowing everything that we know. Sorry, Saj. Okay, so knowing everything that we know, we are asking the cards to tell us what are his intentions toward Sag, what are his hopes and or fears with respect to Sagittarius, okay? Whatever is the stronger energy, please. Capricorn's hopes and fears. Okay, Sag, this is really good. Sagittarius, and it's the only card that flipped. His intentions are good, Sag. Hang on now. Oh. And not only that, uh, what's important about this knight um, is that, you know, the knight of wands comes in too haphazard. Uh, the knight of swords comes in too fast and angry. The Knight of Pentacles comes in too slow. The Knight of Cups comes in properly with his armor up. So his intentions are good. He, right, this is not a masked um, approach toward you for once. <laughs> okay. Um, let's find out what the outcome is, okay? What's the outcome between Sag and Capricorn? It's not on this side. What is the outcome? Here, what's the outcome for Sag and Cappy? What's the outcome, please? Oh, God, this is hard to get out. It's coming. I'm going to grab the rest of the other deck. Okay, we're looking for the outcome for Sagittarius, for Mutable Fire, Cardinal Earth. What's the outcome? between Sag and Kathy. Nice. Look at this. All right. So if you're not in communication right now, he's going to start small. <laughs> okay, a little fish in the cup. So it could be a little invitation, you know, for a drink or something like that. Um, but, it, but what he's planning on turning it into is that, okay? Because that is his hope. Um, the only thing to look out for, Sag, there is a little bit of third party. This person I feel is very active uh, physically. Um, so it may be, um, yeah, you may have a few bumps in the road when it comes to third party situations. You're just going to have to figure out how to handle that, how to put your foot down about it, okay? Take some lessons from Aquarius on that. You would not believe. You should watch the live chat um, from tonight. Um, so, Sag, overall, um, the cards are giving your Cappy the approval, okay? Um, alright, I hope...